Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Cosmos and Infinity. And this is page one. Now, um, be sure you're checking out the titles for each of the videos because I did build this album out of sequence. So if you want to cut through the papers in the same order I did, look for that build number. So the page is the page that I'm working on, comma, followed by the build, the sequence in which I actually cut through the designer paper. Okay, enough about that. Let's get some of these papers out of the way. Okay, we're gonna do two fold over flaps on the left and right. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is when it's closed, you're gonna open it up and then it's gonna open one more time. We're gonna do two of those, one on the left and one on the right. And you're gonna start with eight, eight and a half, eight and a half by eight, eight and a half by eight. So once you um, score at half inch and four and a half, I want you to fold it over and see if you can close it without it buckling. And if you can, perfect. But if you can't, just take a sliver off um, this outside edge so that when it's tucked in, you don't, it doesn't wind up looking like that because it won't close. So I'm going to show this to you. It's a little difficult to see, but there's my score line and there is the edge of the flap and it's inside the score line. So that's what you want when you go to put it down. Okay. My doggy just came to see me. I'm going to dry fit this real quick, make sure it's the right height. And yes, it is. <clears throat> And then I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again as a tip. I like to pin down one corner and hold it up and pivot it until it's flush. And then lay down the panel. And that usually works pretty good for me. Occasionally I have to redo it, but that's kind of my standard technique. I know I have a couple of new viewers based on some of the questions that I've seen. So I'm trying to go over some of those build techniques that I've collected over oh, over the years, I guess, uh, of making mini albums. Okay, it's pretty darn tight. So that's what we're after. Little details like that really make it look crisp um, when you're finished go a long way to making it look very professional. Okay, in the center, we're going to have a belly band. I went ahead and glued this down because I was afraid I was gonna mis misplace it and use it for something else. So um, it's gonna go here. This is one eight, oh, eight by eight cut into slivers. And this eight by eight just happened to have these lines in the pattern. So I just followed them. And that's why the belly band is not centered. So I am going to lay it out. And then I'm going to mark the band on where it goes because I want the band to go down first and then um, I'll tuck these two side pieces slightly underneath it. Okay, so I'm centering this between the two outside pieces and I'm just going to draw a little reference line with my pencil. So I have to line those, oops, did I get it on here? Yes, I did. You guys can't see it, but I can. There it is, so I'm gonna double check. And if all is good, we're gonna go ahead and put the belly band down and then slide these slightly underneath it. Sorry, I'm having a hard time. I had a uh, late dinner and a cup of coffee and it's not doing me any favors. So it looks like I want this to go under so I can see it. Yeah, that's right, okay. Set those aside, I've got tape here. I wanna make sure it's right side up, that's up. So I'm going to place this flush with the edge and then I'm just going to let it 
fall to the other side. There we go. Okay, now we're going to tuck these slightly under. Get my art glitter glue. Ooh, it's definitely summer. Uh, the end of June and the beginning of July, things really start to heat up around here and clear up. Um, it hasn't been really cold, but it hasn't been very clear, and uh, we're start, that's starting to change. Which is nice. Sunny days. We held my husband in the yard today. We transplanted a couple of plumerias. They got so heavy onto one side we had to straighten them out. And those are, you know, those beautiful fragrant flowers from Hawaii that they make lays out of. So we've got a couple of those. And they're just about to take off this summer. Okay, so there's our belly band slightly off center. This is an 8x8. This is from the 8x8, and I made a 7x7 insert. Goes right here. And now we're ready to start decorating with the outside. <clears throat> I'm going to put something uh, on top to close it. So I've got all my panels here. I'm going to organize them a little bit. The four squares go up here. It takes a lot of paper to cover the inside and outside. So I'm, I'm looking just to make sure I've got what I want because this was the other option. I think I'm gonna go with the purple because I am gonna put um, a design piece on top. So I'll put these on the inside. Okay, so this is from the 8x8 collection pack. Uh, let me take that back. Uh, I think it's, yes. Mm. I think it's the backgrounds. Let's see if I've got the rest of this somewhere so I can piece it together. It, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I say that because all the, all the patterns in this collection coordinate, so you really can't make a mistake. Based on the scale, I'm gonna say this is from the eight by eight. Well, it's definitely eight by eight. What I don't know is if it's background or collection pack, and I apologize for that, but I just can't piece together the back piece anymore. Oh, or can I? No, that's, that's definitely from the 12 by 12, so that doesn't help me. And that's from the 12 by 12. So the 12 by 12 backgrounds and the 8 by 8 backgrounds are not exactly the same. That's why I'm hemming and hawing so much. So. But it's pretty easy to find. It's this purple one, and there's only one that has this purple color like this. There's this and then this pattern. These are the only two that really have purple. Everything else is blue, grays, and browns with just like a little bit of purple. So I need to trim these to fit. I wanted to wait until I installed my flaps before I took my final measurement. <clears throat> and I'm having some doubts about whether or not I turned on the camera, so I'm going to check that really quick. 
someday I'll get a real setup where I can see that my camera's rolling without having to get up. I know, I've been saying that for four years. You get used to what you have. Yep, we're rolling. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, you probably, if you're a regular viewer, saw that we did a reveal of the graphic and stamp of the new collections that have come out. They're all really nice. I'm really in love with the um, Hello Pumpkin collection from Graphic. It's really awesome. They often do kind of a Halloween theme, so it was nice to see something different. There's some uh, written text handwriting in the background, so I'm just checking it closely to make sure um, I have the right orientation. It's pretty tiny, but I think I've got it right now. Okay, where's the lid? I know you guys can see it. Oh, here it is. See, why can't I? Okay. All right, so that's that. So now we're gonna look for the piece that's gonna go over top and that piece is going to have a magnet on it and the other magnet will go on this side. Now there are uh, plenty of cut aparts to choose from. So let me get a couple of these stray papers out of my field of vision and bring in my goodie box. These are just small papers and cut aparts. So that doesn't look very good. The bird matches. I'm going to feature him someplace else, so I'm going to hold off on that. I like that as well. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to select from one of these. The owl looks pretty cool. That makes everything look richer and darker, lighter and brighter, lighter and brighter. I'm not going to use that. What do y'all think? I'm leaning towards one of the two of these. Now I'm just going to... One, two, one, two. I'm going to go with one. I like this frame. It's speaking to me. So I am going to mat this and then I'm going to cover uh, the back. Put a mat on it and then cut, put some coordinating paper on the back that's going to be exposed after I glue this down. Okay, let's get a little piece of paper here. <clears throat> I just found this little scrap over here on my cut table, so I might actually trim that down and put it on the back. Looks like it's about the right size. Beautiful. I hate it. I hate having to choose. <laughs> that's one thing that's nice about single-sided papers. You don't have to choose. You get what you get. And I, well, of course, if you get two packs, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so this is page one, which means the spine's going to be over here. So I think I want this to this flap to open that way. So I'm going to glue this down and glue this to this, and we'll put a magnet on that side. It's really just preference. You guys could go any way you want. You could actually make turn this, you know, 45 degrees and make the panels go up and down instead of side to side. Be 
Minutius. Okay. I'm going to flip it over and put a little reference line here for the glue. Oh, and I still need to dress this side. Is this going to be big enough? Just about. Oops, I think it's... Yeah, that was right this side. Okay, we'll ink that real quick. And we're going to add a magnet. I think I want it right about there. Right here. to roll it forward but not to stick it to the table. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So now we can cover that. I'm going to put it a little bit on the high side. <clears throat> Looks pretty straight to me, but I'm going to check. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks good. Now we're going to have add our second magnet. And tidy. Okay, I'm gonna have to trim. Oops, these are. Really yeah, my fingernail just keeps flopping over. It feels funny. Okay, it's distracting. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what those are for. Now I've got these 
to go. So let's start organizing the bits. I think I wanted to use these two here. Um, they, it's two halves of a whole. These are all from the eight by eight. But I want to think about that for a second. Okay, so that's originally what I had planned last night. And then these two are going to go here and here, which I don't like. I'm going to put them on the outside now. And then I was going to do um, two blue blocks here, or a total of four. Let's see if I can find a darker blue piece. Yeah. Because these look more purple to me. Looking for something a little, a little closer to that. I got lots of bits, so hopefully it won't take me too much longer to find something. Plan. Let me put these up. Take this and I'm going to use this to make a difference. Okay. So we are going to have stardust, I guess. What you call it. And I should be able to get three out of this because each block is going to be four by four. Turn these down, and we'll get that laid down first. So these need to be four. Actually, let's back. It needs to be a slightly under four. the flap. He didn't want to do that. I marked the edge I can't see in the trimmer. When it's 12 inches I can't see the bottom. And the reason I cut it is because I don't have two full panels, so I'm just going to do color blocking between these two. So this needs to be trimmed down. That's what we're going to do. Okay. These all came from... this. I think this came from the collections pack, pretty sure. Well, I might have to trim that even a little more. Okay. Now I'm taking a little off the height because I don't want them to butt against each other. I want there to be a black band between the two as well as a border around the top and bottom and that's not enough so I'm going to take a little bit more off. I'm putting them both in the trimmer at the same time. Let's see if that does it. 
And this is the kind of stuff that you really have to just trim and check, trim and check when you're doing color blocking. Um, because even the way a flap goes in to the album can have an impact on how it's trimmed. So I will do the same on the other side. Um, because it may just be ever so slightly uh, different. And so even if I had exactly the same measurements for the designer paper, it might appear different on the flap. Or not appear different, be different on the other flap. Okay. Now that this is glued into place, I don't have to worry about trying to hold it down. I'm gonna check one more time. And that is right on the money. That's what I was expecting. Happy to see it was right. Sometimes it takes me a little longer to do that. It's a little labor intensive, but it sure has a, a pleasing effect. Same thing over here. So these are the right width, and my guess is they're a little bit too long. They are. They're about an eight inch too long. Um, I'll put them both in the trimmer and trim the heights at the same time. Don't be aggressive. Trim twice. Um, Measure, check, measure, check, measure, check. Can't add paper back. I think it needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece down and take a smidge off that, I think, and then it'll be perfect. It's hard um, to hold them in place to see exactly. If you have a magnetic board, it goes a long way to helping you do that layout and check your uh, borders, your trim and your borders. If you like too, you could make the bottom, the lower piece, a pocket. I don't like to do that very often on a fold over because there's already a lot of bulk from this panel. So something to be conscious of if you decide to go that direction. Looks like I don't need to trim anything. I just need to glue it. on so these need to be trimmed as well basically what I do when I'm uh, planning is I'll cut these I know this is a four inch panel four and a half scored so I have a four inch finish panel and I'll cut my designer paper to four inches and then do a final trim um, but then that way I can sort of pre-plan uh, I don't like to cut it down to its final um, size until I get the flap installed. <laughs> uh, sometimes I need to cut a little more or a little less. So that's why you're seeing me trim. A lot of times I do all that check, check, checking um, offline. You don't always see it. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and finish by adding this piece. And I'm just 
want to see what's going to go next to it. This is one. So that's a continuation. Again, this is from mm, this is from a 12 by 12. Something is not right. This is just so much bigger. Oh, I know why. Because I took a sliver off. It's not four inches. I took a sliver off so it would fold over on this um, score line nicely. I'm like, why do I have to take so much off? That's why. Beautiful. So that part's done. Now we we'll finish up over here. I'm going to take the white side down. Um, after looking at the far side, there's more of this color. So I think it just uh, goes a little bit better, but not doesn't make that much of a difference. Like I said, all these prints work together. You can't make a mistake on uh, pattern coordination. What I like to do when it's like this um, with these kinds of collections is just break up you know, the sort of monochromatic uh, feel of the collection by adding these, you know, dark spots uh, in between the light spots. Uh, but the, in, the, in the case of this collection, the pattern itself doesn't matter as much as the color. That's not always the case. Like um, with stripes, uh, the pattern matters as much or more than the color. So you wouldn't want to put diagonal stripes with horizontal stripes necessarily. Or you'd want to use them as uh, in a trim effect as opposed to two fold patterns of it. Patterns, I mean two, four, two fold sections. Surfaces, I was having a hard time with my words, sorry. I'm going to turn from this side because the feather goes together over there. Again, it's a minor detail. But if you got a trim, might as well pick the right side. And this nearly concludes page one. Okay, so that's it for page one. If you guys haven't uh, seen the reveal vi videos, um, they're pretty short. Um, there's a graphic one and a Stamparia one. Two collections for each reveal, so they go pretty quick, and I go page by page through um, the designer papers and also uh, any key elements with the um, 
with a collection like chipboard stickers and that kind of stuff so go take a look and then also that level of detail is available on our website at scrapandcreate.com so thanks again as always for spending time with me here at scrap and create we really appreciate your time and attention and um anything you can do for us over in the shop we really appreciate it um for now this is daphne signing off i'll be back soon with page two bye-bye